Hi everyone! Today we're going to do speaking on page 1.3, unit 11 in your English download textbook. Exercise 3. Work in pairs to answer the questions about the photographs. Bersama pasangan anda, jawab soalan tentang gambar-gambar di bawah. One of you will be student A and the other will be student B. Seorang akan jadi student A dan seorang akan jadi student B. Use the words and phrases in the language bank to help you. Guna perkataan dan frasa dalam language bank untuk membantu anda. Now let's look at the photographs. Photograph A shows people playing video games. Main video game. Photograph B shows people jogging. Orang berjogging. Photograph C shows a person studying in his room with his laptop. Buat ulang kaji dalam bilik menggunakan laptop. And photograph D shows a girl studying in the library with books. Seorang so, perempuan membuat ulang kaji di perpustakaan dengan buku. Now let's look at the questions. Student A. Compare the two photographs. Why is each free time activity popular? Bandingkan kedua-dua gambar. Kenapa kedua-dua aktiviti masa lapang ini popular? Student B. In your free time, would you be more likely to choose technology or fresh air and exercise? Dalam masa lapang anda, adakah anda akan pilih teknologi atau udara segar dan senaman? For picture C and D, student B. Compare the two photographs. What are the advantages of each way of studying? Bandingkan kedua-dua gambar. Apakah kebaikan kedua-dua cara ulang kaji? Student A. Do you think you spend too much time on your computer? Adakah anda rasa anda menghabiskan terlalu banyak masa depan komputer? And of course, always use the words and phrases in the language back here. These are all sequence connectors dan kita mesti guna ini supaya apabila kita speaking, idea kita tidak berhamburan. So contoh, if kita mau mula dengan idea pertama, we say to begin with atau firstly dan sebagainya. Apabila kamu kena bagi dua gambar untuk dibandingkan, first, kamu mesti nyatakan apa ada dalam kedua-dua gambar. Kedua, nyatakan persamaan. Ketiga, nyatakan perbezaan. Dan akhir sekali, baru jawab soalan. So, your conversation can look like this. A. Tanya soalan pertama. Compare the two photographs. Why is each free time activity popular? So, first, B. Nyatakan dulu apa dia nampak dalam kedua-dua gambar. In photograph A, I see three people playing video games at home. While in photograph B, I see three people jogging at the park. Kemudian, B. Nyatakan persamaan kedua-dua gambar. Both photographs show free time activities. Lepas tu, B nyatakan perbezaan kedua-dua gambar. The activity in photograph A involves technology. On the other hand, the activity in photograph B does not involve technology. Then, baru jawab soalan A. Dan untuk jawapan soalan A, bagi at least 3 point. For this video, I will give you two ideas and nanti kamu tambah satu lagi point. To begin with, each free time activity is popular because it can help relieve stress. Secondly, it is fun. Thirdly, bagi idea kamu sendiri. Now, B tanya pula ini soalan pada A. In your free time, would you be more likely to choose technology or fresh air and exercise? A bagi jawapan dengan sekurang-kurangnya tiga sebab. Walaupun soalan tidak minta, tapi bagi saja untuk dapat markah lebih kalau dalam exam. So, nanti kamu buat pilihan kamu sendiri, but you can follow like this. Kalau choose technology, I would be more likely to choose technology in my free time because there are so many things technology can offer. For one thing, idea kedua. Finally, bagi idea ketiga. Kalau kamu pilih fresh air and exercise, I would be more likely to choose fresh air and exercise in my free time because I love being outside with nature. Next, idea kedua. Lastly, idea ketiga. Lepas tu, B tanya soalan tentang photograph C dan D. Compare the two photographs. What are the advantages of each way of studying? A. Ikut cara B jawab tadi, iaitu nyatakan dulu apa dia nampak dalam kedua-dua gambar. In photograph C, I see a boy studying in his room with his laptop on. While in photograph D, I see a girl studying in the library, reading a book. Then kedua, A nyatakan persamaan kedua-dua gambar. Both photographs show people studying. Kemudian ketiga, A nyatakan perbezaan kedua-dua gambar. The activity in photograph A is done at home with a laptop. On the other hand, the activity in photograph B is at the library with books. Then macam biasa, baru jawab soalan B dan bagi tiga sebab. So macam tadi, saya akan bagi dua idea, nanti kamu tambah idea ketiga. I'll begin by talking about the advantages of studying at home with a laptop. First of all, it is more quiet and peaceful studying at home. Secondly, you can save a lot of time just by staying home. You don't need to prepare to go out and spend time taking a bus to the library. Thirdly, bagi idea yang ketiga. As for studying in library with books, firstly, if you study in a library, you won't be tempted to sleep compared to studying at home with a bed next to you. Next. Studying for a long period of time with books doesn't hurt your eyes like a laptop can do. Another thing is that, bagi idea ketiga kamu. Now, turn student A lagi untuk tanya soalan. Do you think you spend too much time on your computer? Then, B bagi jawapan dengan tiga sebab walaupun soalan tidak minta. Macam soalan tadi, kamu pilih sendiri jawapan kamu but you can say like this. Kalau ya, yes, I do think I spend too much time on my computer. To begin with, 
All my study notes are in my computer. Secondly, bagi sebab kedua. Finally, dan ada yang ketiga. Kalau jawapan no, you can say, No, I don't think I spend too much time on my computer. I'll begin by saying that my eyes get hurt quickly when I'm on the computer for a little while. So I avoid using the computer. Next, bagi idea kedua. Lastly, idea ketiga. If kamu tidak dapat bagi tiga idea bagi setiap soalan, jangan risau. Satu saja pun boleh sebenarnya, tapi pastikan kamu boleh terangkan dengan baik. Because, lebih baik lagi kamu bagi satu idea yang kamu boleh terangkan dengan panjang daripada tiga idea yang kamu tidak dapat huraikan. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.